Welcome back, everyone. If you're just joining us, consider helping out a very wonderful event that is coming up soon. And here to chat with us all about it, we have Bridget Staffolino from Jolt Credit Union and Denise Berry with the Shelter House. So thank you both for coming in this morning. Good morning. Thanks yes. for having us. us. Yeah, it's always a treat to see both of you. You guys are great. The Boxers and Bloomers Drive is coming up. So Bridget, tell us a little bit about the, the drive in relation to Jolt Credit Union, why you started it. Okay, so this is really cool. So about a handful of years ago, we started started, we were um, doing a sock drive for a local um, community parish, okay. and we thought, God, you know, maybe we'll do like a matching sock, meaning that if we, if someone donated a pair of socks, we would match it. So we ended up, I think, ended up having uh, 1,500 pairs of socks that people donated, nice. and we donated the other 1,500, so matching sock. And so we're talking to our board of directors about it, and they thought it was the coolest thing, and so they said, well, how about underwear? You know, underwear is like the least donated um, uh, clothing okay. and the most needed mm -hmm. in any time someone's displaced from where they, you know, a living place. And so we started, they said, come up with a, some of a, like a cute name. And so we came up with Boxers and Bloomers because we thought it was necessary to help out, you know, the homeless community, whether it is because, you know, they've lost a job or sexual abuse, um, violence, you know, um, okay. domestic abuse. So yeah. we, you know, started it and it's been really successful so far. I know and, and it's great to see this too in the community. So donated undergarments, of course, going to the shelter house. Denise, can you just tell us a little bit again, uh, remind us uh, for those who weren't here when we had Denise here for Midland Restaurant Week, <laughs> just how these donations will help shelter house and also what you guys do for the community. Yeah, thank you. So Shelter House is a, it's a comprehensive domestic violence and sexual assault services center. We have a 48 bed shelter and along with a 24 hour crisis line. And so we're able to serve a uh, little over a thousand people a year. Um, and we actually failed about 5,000 crisis calls a year. And so within our shelter, we have uh, 15 different individual units. And so, and, and they turn over uh, quite frequently. Um, so this drive will be amazing because as Bridget said, Underwear is one of the least donated things, uh, types of clothing, yeah. but one of the most needed. Um, when somebody comes into shelter, they're always given uh, fresh undergarments and pajamas to start their stay. Okay. And so this will be incredible for us. I can imagine, yeah, absolutely. And uh, where do we drop off any of our donations, Denise? They, well, the Shelter House Resale Shop, for one. Yep. And oh, then, yeah. Yep, and then <laughs> any of the Jolt Credit Union um, uh, branches. Okay. And what's really cool, too, is we have an opportunity that if you can't get to one of our branches or you think, you know what, can I just donate money? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Good. We have a QR code that goes directly to the Shelter House website, and you can donate securely on that as well. All right. Is this where you're going to put donations? What is this? The <laughs> the bin where um, we're collecting uh, the boxers and bloomers and what's really great is they overflow with the mm -hmm. donations and it's really great because the community gets uh, behind this and uh, and you know you think about it when you're out buying undergarments yeah. it's expensive it doesn't matter where you're shopping whether you're shopping at Macy's or whether you're shopping at Walmart yeah. their new underwear are expensive and I know for one when I get new underwear I get excited and new pajamas <laughs> yes. because it just feels good absolutely and and just having the sense of um, cleanliness security what have you what type of difference does this make uh, Denise for people who come to the shelter house like is it really like that drastic it, it really is because you have to understand that a lot of people who come to us they're coming with nothing they they grabbed what they could they're fleeing um, from you know imminent danger mm -hmm. the violence and so to be able to just have something that's their own and to be able to um, make up these just when you walk in with nothing mm -hmm. and then to be able to have something that you call your own, it's it's very important. Yeah, I can imagine for sure. So uh, Bridget, also tell me a little bit about the importance of Jolt being in almost every community and doing this. Absolutely. Why do you, why do, you do it? Well, because we feel that when we, you know, um, 
we're coming to Midland. We're opening up our new branch in Midland uh, this month. And it's important for us not to just show up with a, you know, a, a building, mm -hmm. but to actually become part of the community. And we thought this was a great way, especially with, you know, being new in the Midland area with our branch, is to, you know, find a partner that we could share this, you know, Boxers and Bloomers Drive with. Yeah. And it really is. When you are a part of the community, you know, um, you know, our big thing is giving it everything we got every day, every way. Yeah. We go all in. It, it lifts the community up. Uh, we're not just writing checks. We're actually showing up and giving back to the community. And it feels good. It yeah. feels really good. And being a part, you know, having our boxers and bloomers drive, you know, like you said, it's, it's one of the neat, most needed um, pieces of uh, apparel for someone. But, you know, our tagline is it's more than just underwear. It's an, ex and it's an expression of a tangible start, an expression of a fresh start. Got you. All right, very good. So this has been great. Anything else that you would like our viewers to know, whether it's about Shelter House or this drive? We're just incredibly grateful to partner with Joe Credit Union, um, and we hope, you know, that we're able to do this again in the future, and, and we hope people give. Yes, let's do it. And um, is this... Was there a certain dates on this? Yeah, it, um, we are going through the end of May. Oh, and, okay. and we, you know, if someone says, you know, I, can I donate socks or can I donate, you know, pajamas? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. We'll take it all. Yep. And if you want us, you know, drop it off somewhere, we'll go pick it up. Absolutely. We just want the whole community to be a part of it. We're yeah. really proud of it. We're proud to sponsor with Shelter House and uh, super excited to be here with you guys helping us promote yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. My pleasure. Thanks for coming in. This is always a great thing. I know, I know Joe personally <laughs> looks forward to it every single year. We sure so. do. Yeah. All right. Well, we appreciate it. You can find more information, including everything you need to know about these donations, by going to the hot link section on WNEM.com.